Hey everybody, it's Alex. We're back today. We're going to talk about um, some new destinations that you may be visiting on a cruise ship. And today specifically I want to talk about St. Lucia, which is one of my uh, one of the my favorite places I've ever visited on a cruise ship. Um, I know we made a couple videos about the Mexican Riviera and now I'm going to get back into the Caribbean. Specifically like the Eastern Southern Caribbean because um, from my experience, that's just some of the most beautiful places in the world. Um, if you have ever, you know, I know a lot of people tend to um, stay on the west side. I know it's popular from Galveston, from Florida, um, you know, Cozumel, um, Belize, Honduras, all those places are very popular. But you don't, you don't see as many. I mean, you see a few cruise ships. That, I mean, there's still quite a few cruise ships that go to St. Thomas, St. Martin. But I'm talking about getting down into St. Lucia, Barbados, Antigua. Those are some of the topics of, and some of the areas um, that we're going to talk about. And specifically today we're going to talk about St. Lucia. I know in some of the comments from my other videos people have asked why I'm making these videos. Again, I've said this before. I think cruising is one of the best forms of traveling. Uh, it's something that my wife and I, Erica, we love to do. I've been traveling... Um, I've been traveling in general for years since I was a baby. My first cruise ever, I was a toddler on the original love boat. I only have a few photos of that, I don't remember it. Um, and I've been on about 40 cruises. And as much as I love land vacations and during the pandemic that was our only option, as soon as cruising was open and, and, and restarted, we were back on a cruise ship almost as soon as we could possibly get on one. And um, we've been on four or five cruises now since the restart. And I always tell people, I know there, there are a lot of people that are very hesitant um, to do cruising out there. Um, the one thing I, I always suggest, you know, especially if it's your first cruise, pick a smaller ship and also pick, a, uh, pick an itinerary with destinations that really interest you, places that you really want to go. Um, I think that'll make a huge difference. Um, and also, the reason I say smaller ship is just because some of these new ships, you know, with many thousands of people on there it can get a little overwhelming and that i think um especially if you're new to cruising and you're not used to it can be just be a little bit of a turnoff i'm a big fan of going on ships that are a little bit smaller and also i just want to state that i'm not making any money from these videos when we go on an excursion when we um, and arrive in a port i usually i just tell the vendor typically like we're making um travel videos you know, the whole basis behind this channel was to create a video documentary for our kids to look back at one day. And then, in you know, on the side, I make some of these videos, like informative videos like this, because I hope they help you uh, have a better and more fulfilling experience when you go on a cruise. So let's talk about St. Lucia. The currency for St. Lucia is the Eastern Caribbean dollar, although... Uh, you don't really have to worry about exchanging money. Just um, everybody's going to price everything out based on uh, uh, U.S. currency. And uh, you won't have any issues um, just taking your dollars off the ship. Um, typically, if you need cash for that day when you get off the boat, I always suggest that you use the ATM on the ship. And from my experience, that has usually been the easiest option. I'm always, I'm always concerned with freestanding ATMs in various countries, some of these freestanding ATMs can be um, just a ripoff. They can steal your information. If you do have to use an ATM outside of the uh, the ship, make sure it's at a brick and mortar location, like a physical location where you're going to, um, you know, pull cash. So as far as what you do, you know, when when you arrive by cruise ship, you're either going to be on the north side or the south side of the uh, port. It's a little hard to explain, but um, as you can see, uh, most cruise ships will show up on the north side here, uh, where you can see this other cruise ship is docked. And when you arrive, you're going to have, um, you know, you get off the ship, you're going to have the typical vendors that are trying to sell you information. And this is why I like to, um, you know, make sure that you plan in advance. So you know what you're going to do. You get off the ship and you have a plan, you know where you're going to go. And I'll talk about some different options for various budgets. Um, St. Lucia is pretty laid back, though. You know, I 
you will have some vendors that come up to you. They're trying to sell you their tours. I mean, it's their business. Just be friendly, polite. They'll let you be. They're not as aggressive as some of the other uh, destinations that you may have experience with. St. Lucia is a place where I would really encourage you to um, do an excursion. And maybe through the cruise ship, but for me, preferably, uh, we typically always do our excursions outside of the cruise line on our own. When you book an excursion through a cruise line, you're not booking it. You know, all the cruise line is doing is basically contracting out with a local uh, vendor and then they're bumping up the price and they're keeping some of that for themselves. Um, I think with a little bit of a uh, little bit of legwork, you can go out and you can have a very enjoyable experience and you can save some money and you can really have a fantastic day. And the reason I say St. Lucia is one that you might want to do on your own just because of the terrain and the, um, the logistics and the cost of like water taxis or getting around by taxi. Um, if you were to do a lot of things individually, it might get a little bit more expensive. So just um, considering an excursion and the one that we specifically have done in the past um, is one of our favorite things to do. All right, so if you um, really want to keep it budget friendly, the, the easiest thing to do is to get your towel, exit the cruise ship. It's about a 20, 25 minute walk. You can take a taxi. Um, taxi might be $15, $20. Um, taxis in St. Lucia are a little, little pricier. If you do go with the taxi, just make sure you negotiate the price up front. That's important anywhere you go. But it's called Vigi Beach. It's just uh, on the other side of the airport. So you're, the, the cruise ship is anchored right here. You've got a 20 minute walk to the airport and then just on the other side of the airport, um, you'll see the beach. And um, it's a beautiful beach. Uh, it's where a lot of locals go. All the beaches in St. Lucia are um, available. They have public access. Like, you know, a resort can't say, uh, we own the beach, you can't be here. If you walk to any of the beaches, you have the right to go on to the beach, use the beach, and uh, hop in the water, lay on the sand, and enjoy it. Um, what you'll find with some of these beaches, like Vigi Beach, is that there's, uh, and I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing that right, I'm, I hope I am, but um, you don't have a lot of services. And for some people, that might not be a big deal. You might want to just get to the beach, relax, unwind, um, sit in the sand, go in the water. But for others, if you want to buy some appetizers, some food, drinks, whatever it may be, and you have limited options at a lot of these beaches. But that would be definitely the most affordable option um, is to just get off the cruise ship, walk into the, you know, walk over to the beach, hang out, relax, spend a few hours there, and then maybe walk back into town. You can do some shopping, look at souvenirs, you go to local restaurants. You know, the nice thing about traveling in 2022, just about anywhere you are in the world, you can hop on the uh, hop on your cell phone, look at you know look for local restaurants, bars, look at the reviews, and you have all this data and information at your fingertips, um, which is nice. We just returned from a, a trip in in Europe in Italy. We actually did a cruise, a ten day cruise, and I'm going to do a whole series of videos for that. But our experience this time around in Venice, for example, was so much better than ten years ago when we had limited options and data available. Um, because we found some fantastic restaurants to eat at um, that had great reviews and um, you know they maybe weren't right on the canal in Venice they were a block or two in from the canal but they were fantastic um, same thing when you're in St. Lucia you're walking around downtown you can look for those restaurants those bars the places where you can just go in and get a snack eat some local food and really experience kind of what what St. Lucia has to offer um, you know, that's the option that I would consider doing if you're a little bit more budget conscious and you just want to go off and get off and explore and kind of do your own thing. Um, St. Lucia is a safe place. You shouldn't have any issues walking around exploring the island. You know, I always tell people just uh, don't do anything you wouldn't do at home. Be respectful and, um, and you'll be fine. As far as um, something else that you might do that's gonna be a little bit more expensive or spend a little bit of money, and the reason why I might skip this option to go directly to the third option is because the, the price points, the pricing is gonna be very similar. So for example, you could take a taxi, you could take a water taxi, and you could go down to uh, Marigold, 
uh, Bay. I hope I pronounced that correctly. It's just south. It's actually, it's, it doesn't look that far on the map, but logistically through the mountains and whatnot, um, from, it's my understanding in recent um, trips, it's, it could be $30, $40, $50 for taxi round trip. Um, a little bit more if you're going to take a water taxi. Again, it depends. Um, I'll put links in the description of this video where you can reach out to some people in advance and ask them, inquire what it would cost. But this is a beautiful bay with access to a beautiful beach. Um, there's some restaurants there. It's really, really, um, it's pretty chill. I mean, I, from my experience, uh, everywhere in St. Lucia has been pretty relaxed and pretty laid back. Um, it's not going to be like going to Cozumel, like if you're going to Mr. Sancho's Beach Club. It's just, there's, there's not a lot of that vibe going on. Um, and if you've been there or you've been to Cozumel before, you, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, St. Lucia is going to be pretty chill. It's going to be very relaxing, but it's beautiful and very enjoyable. Um, but the reason I say you may bypass this option and just go directly towards like the tour option that we do is because again, when you factor in the cost of like taking a taxi there and back, uh, exploring, spending a little bit of money, you may just go for the, uh, the tour. And so the tour that we have done and I'm eager to go back to St. Lucia because we'll probably do the exact same thing is it's um, the land and sea tour and this is a tour where when you exit the cruise ship you're going to um, you know you're gonna book this in advance and this is gonna be about a hundred to hundred twenty five dollars a person it's about half price for kids um, and a lot of it depends how many people are in your group if you have a bigger group you can get a boat all to yourself if you have um, if you're a smaller group, then they'll um, they'll match you up. You'll be in a boat with other people, typically from the same cruise ship. Um, St. Lucia, you know, sometimes you have multiple cruise ships, two, three cruise ships in there in a day, but most of the time it's like one, maybe two cruise ships. Um, but it's uh, the land and sea tour, and so when you exit the cruise uh, ship, you're going to have a meeting point. You're going to go there. You're going your tour is going to meet, and then you're going to be taken to some high speed, uh, high speed, uh, boats where you're going to basically go down south all the way around the, uh, south of the island. And, um, you're going to do a combination of things and, um, you're going to go into taking down the Souf, Soufier, Soufier. I, I know I'm not pronouncing that correctly. Um, this is a small town in that small town you explore the town and then you'll go into um, up into the mountains into the rainforest where you're going to be experiencing like a mud bath um, there's a waterfall there in the video that we shared erica uh, went in and went under the waterfall at the time when we did this a couple years ago our kids weren't uh, wanting to get into the uh, the water it was a little chilly a little chilly but um and and the area the train for the waterfall is a little rocky so be prepared you might want to wear some water shoes um, or just be prepared that you're going to be walking on some rocks that are um, that are a little little difficult to walk on but it's a great experience and then from there um, I, I can't remember if we did the mud bath before the waterfall before but after that then you have a you have a meeting point where you're going to do lunch um, you have a lunch that's prepared for you, a local lunch. And then after you finish lunch, you're going to get back on the bus. You're going to head back down to that um, town. You'll get back on the boats. And then your boat is going to take you to another uh, private beach area. And I believe that's called Sugar Beach. And that's a popular beach. There's a beautiful resort there. But again, um, everybody has access to those beaches. And then you'll, you'll have a few hours to just relax and hang out on that beach. That was probably the, my favorite part of the day as well as just the boat rides. The boat rides were fun. Um, just seeing the island from the water and exploring, um, going around the island was uh, fantastic. So those are the options as far as what um, I would do in St. Lucia. I'm gonna leave you with the ending of this video. Basically, um, just take a couple minutes to watch our experience. Um, it's only a few minutes long and you'll see what we did with Spencer uh, and his uh, tour, uh, Spencer Ambrose, and uh, I'll put his information in the description of this video. And be sure to reach out to him. Make sure you reach out to him. You know, a month or so. Um, the sooner, the better. 
in advance so he can make arrangements and make sure that um, that they're not sold out because they do get fairly busy. I know on TripAdvisor he has really good reviews. He's one of the top rated um, tour guides when it comes to doing this type of tour. And uh, he's been doing this for a long time. He's actually, I, I believe from our conversations, he's a retired um, police officer in St. Lucia. And now he owns a couple boats and he does these uh, tours. Um, and he knows everybody. He, everywhere we went, he was like, he definitely he was like the local politician he knows everybody super nice guy and he was super fun so enjoy this video and again if you're taking the time to go on a cruise um do a little research think and consider spending a little bit more money because you're already going to a beautiful place and um and really take advantage of everything that saint lucia has to offer and be sure to like share subscribe if you have any comments or questions leave them below and uh, I'll leave you with this video. Enjoy the video of our day because we had a fantastic time and I hope you have a fantastic time and we'll talk to you soon. Like I was saying, we're here at the waterfall. No, no, the mud bath. We're at the mud bath. It's kind of a hassle to get all the kids changed and in there, so Erica went in there, and I'm out here with the kids. But pretty cool, pretty cool experience. You can see Erica still got the mud on her face. And we're heading to a waterfall after this. We got uh, a waterfall, a beautiful waterfall right here, and. Uh, it's also raining, so this is uh, the second stop of uh, our land and sea adventure. We're getting back on the bus. Hello. Very good, thank you. We're heading back to uh, the boat, and I think we're heading to the beach. Yeah. So this is our, I think this is our final stop. We're here at the beach. Beautiful, secluded, private beach here in St. Lucia.
plenty of time. They just uh, sounded the horn. We're one of the last ones to get on, but we're still on before they, uh, the time that they requested. So we are ready for another dinner. We're kind of refreshed and uh, we're going to a little birthday dinner for Erica. Cause it's her birthday. Happy birthday, Erica! Yeah. Everybody, one, two, three. Erica, birthday, one, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday.